Alrighty, so this is an implementation from the Zoho creator side of the house, building out some pretty custom forms and applications for one of our clients here. Um, so this one is all about data validation, right? How do we keep the data that people are entering standardized and proper, right? Without putting the burden on the user to remember the right formatting. Um, so this one's built out by Landon and Hector on our team, two of our resident creator nerds. Um, and really the goal, right, is to build a robust system to do that field validation and kind of normalize the format of, I think, more than 60 unique fields that require specific formatting based on the state that a particular customer is in, right? So these are documentation that's going to be generated that have different types of data required based on the particular state. So one of the goals when we do a build like this is, is how do we structure this in a way where we're not hard coding? a bunch of formatting rules into Deluge. Um, because what if those formatting rules change, right? Well, now our client needs to either learn Deluge on the fly and change them or have us come back in and make those updates. And while we're always happy to help, you know, the reality is if we can kind of enable the customer to control more things on the front end, they don't have to rely on us to hard code things on the back end. So the team had a good idea of kind of creating a module in their creator app for states right, where each state would have one record uh, within that module. There, we can actually store the proper formatting for each of the relevant types of fields that are needed. Um, you know, these are kind of like government identifiers or, you know, things like that that have very specific formatting rules. So we can actually just store all of that data there in a place that is accessible to our customer. So they could actually log in, open that app or that uh, module, and make any changes to the formatting rules that they need if things do change. Then lastly, you know, we got to actually write the code. And so, you know, basically build a function where when any of those specific kind of needs validation fields are going to get uh, updated, the function will run, look at the state of the particular customer, you know, where are they, find the appropriate uh, validation and formatting rules in that states module, and then overwrite the data with the newly formatted values. Uh, kind of the beauty of something like this is that to build out that type of um, formatting, if we're hard coding it, you know, because each state's going to be different, this is a big old function, right? It's hundreds and hundreds of lines. Um, the team was showing with me this piece of code is like less than 50 lines because we had set up that data structure properly and we're building it to reference, right? Rather than building it to do everything hard coded all on its own. So big shout out to Landon and Hector. I know that um, this is something Josh actually does in our internal creator app. He has a settings module where tons of different things are stored so that he doesn't have to hard code it. So if we need to like change our kickoff link for clients for a week, Josh doesn't have to go update that in 30 different places in a piece of code. We just go to the settings module, change the link, and now everywhere that it's used is updated. Um, so it's good system design here. So shout out to Landon and Hector. It's a smart way to do it in a way that again gives that autonomy to the customer where if they need to make a formatting change they can do it you know they know exactly where to find it they know how it works um, and they don't need us to come back in and write new code for them every time right so rather than hard coding in for california for example ca cal calif all of the different var variations for that because what you want to come back with standard formatting for the states rather than having to write all that hard coded in one script you can have them all over sitting in a separate module. Yeah, a lot it. of these are like company IDs and identifiers for certain programs that, you know, in, in California, you need two numbers, dash, four numbers, dash, two numbers. In Texas, you need four numbers, dash, five numbers, right? And so now the user just puts in the number and it fixes itself to the appropriate formatting um, because then these are going to end up going in documents and being signed and being used. So it's extremely important that they're correct but for the user to have to remember all of these is just a big pain um, so let the system remember them for you and kind of do that work very nice